Sayyida al-Hora, also known as Tassia bint al-Hasan, was a powerful 16th-century Moroccan queen and regent who lived during the Saudian dynasty. She was born in the early 1500s in Tetouan, Morocco and was a member of the Banu Hassan, a powerful Berber tribe. Sayyida al-Hora was married to the Sultan of Morocco, Ahmad al-Mansur, and after his death she served as regent for her son, Sultan Muhammad al-Sheikh. During her reign, she wielded significant power and made important political and military decisions on behalf of her son. Saida al-Hora was known for her military victories, including the defeat of Portuguese forces in Morocco. She also established a navy and was successful in expanding the Moroccan Empire. She was a patron of the arts and supported many cultural and educational institutions in Morocco. Saida al-Hora died in 1603 in Marrakesh, Morocco, at the age of about 50. Her legacy as a powerful and capable leader has lived on and she is remembered as one of the greatest female rulers in Moroccan history. It should be noted that there are varying accounts of Saida al-Hora's life, and some details about her reign may not be well documented or confirmed. Saida al-Hora as a warrior. Saida al-Hora was known for her military prowess and was regarded as a powerful warrior queen during her lifetime. She was the regent of Morocco during the reign of her son, Sultan Muhammad al-Sheikh, and was responsible for many of the kingdom's military victories. One of Saida al-Hora's notable military achievements was her defeat of Portuguese forces in Morocco. She established a navy and successfully expanded the Moroccan empire through her military campaigns. Her victories helped to secure the country's borders and establish Morocco as a major power in North Africa. Saida al-Hora was known for her courage and her leadership abilities. She was respected by her soldiers and her enemies alike, and her military skills were a crucial factor in her success as a ruler. Her ability to lead and command the respect of her soldiers was a key factor in her ability to protect Morocco and secure its place as a major power in the region. Overall, Saida al-Hora's legacy as a warrior queen has lived on, and she is remembered as one of the greatest female military leaders in Moroccan history. Hope you would like the video. For more historical information please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon. May you live long and blessed.